patient is entitled, how well do coliphages predict the presence and concentrations of human enteric viruses in water and wastewater? And we're really interested in the issues and challenges and the needs going forward to address this question. Uh, what we know is that coliphages are bacteriophages of E. coli. They've been well known for 80 plus years uh, as present in human and animal wastes. They've been proposed as fecal indicator viruses since the 1950s and 60s. There are two main groups of coliphages, somatic and male specific or F plus. The two main families of F plus coliphages are uh, F plus RNA and DNA groups. And of the F plus RNA groups, there are four gene groups, two of which are associated with human sources, one with animal sources, and one perhaps with both, which um, provides a basis possibly for microbial source tracking. There are at least four families of somatic coliphages, and, and these phages are highly diverse. We know that these coliphages are present in human and animal wastewaters at concentrations of hundreds to perhaps thousands of infectious units per milliliter. Often, but not only, the coliphages outnumber human enteric viruses in wastewater. Uh, and the ability to predict human virus pathogen presence and concentrations is variable and uncertain. Um, and this is largely perhaps due to pathogen diversity and variability, which is an issue for, for trying to understand what these relationships are. The ratios of infectious coliphages to specific virus pathogens in wastewater and fecally contaminated waters is also variable and uncertain. And the ratios even differ for human virus pathogens quantified by cell culture infectivity versus nucleic acid amplification. And this is a concern because nucleic acid amplification can detect inactivated viruses and virus fragments when primarily we're interested from a health risk standpoint in the human infectious viruses. Continuing, what we know is that the presence and concentrations of coliphages in human enteric viruses depend upon the type of sample and among the variable uh, and different conditions in the environment. Overall, coliphage levels go from highest to lowest, uh, from raw wastewater to primary, secondary, tertiary effluents, and then finally treated and disinfected wastewater effluents. Coliphage and virus pathogen concentrations in their ratios in ambient surface waters are highly variable, uncertain, and dynamic over time and space. And that's because they are influenced by the virus type, source and dilution factors, temperature and time in the environment, sunlight exposure, extent of aggregation and solids association, and predation. Some of these factors such as temperature, time, and sunlight tend to inactivate viruses, whereas aggregation um, tends to protect viruses uh, from an activation. So there are, um, there are factors of variability that influence virus uh, um, and coliphage concentrations and ratios, which are even also uh, true at site-specific uh, conditions. Here are some data from studies done by McMinn and others at EPA showing the log 10 mean concentrations and 95% confidence intervals of fecal indicator bacteria, various phages and viral, pathogen, uh, viral pathogens as infectious units or genome copies in surface waters. And what you see starting from the top is that um, the human enteric virus levels um, are uh, ranging from uh, as little as uh, uh, 0.1 to as much as uh, uh, two log uh, per 100 ml, with the lowest uh, concentrations for infectious enteric viruses, but higher concentrations for uh, things like adenovirus and norovirus, which are probably measured by gene copies. By comparison, the F plus coliphage levels, both somatic and male specific, were around one to three log 10 and therefore higher uh, than most of the viral uh, pathogens. Uh, and that overall the somatic coliphages outnumbered the uh, F plus coliphages. Um, there seemed to be some evidence of perhaps greater coliphage concentration variability in marine waters than in fresh waters. 
The same group also reported on log and reductions of fecal indicator bacteria, bacteriophages, and viral pathogens through wastewater treatment processes, as shown on this graph as box and whisker plots. And what we see going from left to right is that uh, log 10 reductions were greatest for fecal indicator bacteria. Uh, but here you see highlighted in yellow that the uh, uh, coliphage uh, log 10 reductions were lower at maybe one and a half or so log 10. Um, and that for the human enteric viruses on, on the right, you'll see that the least reductions were for in infectious viruses at only maybe half a log 10 whereas norovirus uh, and adenovirus gene copy uh, log 10 reductions were around perhaps one and a half to even two log 10. We're also interested in coliphages as, as uh, predictors of gastrointestinal illness risk. And this graph uh, summarizes the results from the pooled analysis of six beach cohort uh, uh, epi studies, which show that compared to non-swimmers, there's a progressive increase in risks of gastrointestinal illness um, with the presence of uh, coliphages in the waters that people swam in, uh, and even more so in uh, waters that had coliphages and um, higher levels of enterococci. And this was true for both somatic and male-specific coliphages. In North Carolina, where I've uh, done some of my own work, we were interested in the uh, log 10 reductions of coliphages and uh, infectious adenoviruses and adenovirus gene copies in highly treated wastewater, so-called tertiary treated dual disinfectant uh, reclaimed water designated in North Carolina as type two. We found that log 10 reductions of coliphages were four to approaching five log 10, the detection limit. Whereas by comparison, the log 10 reductions for adenovirus gene copies shown as adenovirus A, A, A through F on the graph were only about one log 10, whereas infectious viruses were reduced by about um, roughly three log 10. Um, and that the coliphage reductions therefore were overestimating the adenovirus reductions, whether the adenoviruses were measured as gene copies or even infectious viruses. We also did uh, determinations of the log concentrations of uh, coliphages and adenoviruses in recreational surface waters, uh, many in the same areas uh, where, we were, where we were analyzing the wastewater samples on the previous graph. And this is from five surface water sites uh, in, the, um, uh, in the Piedmont region of North Carolina, where we found that uh, adenovirus gene copies were at, uh, uh, higher concentrations than coliphages, uh, regardless of which coliphages were measured, whether they were total, whether they were measured as total coliphages, that is somatic plus male specific coliphages, or somatic coliphages alone, or F plus coliphages uh, alone. And the F plus coliphages, as you'll note, were, de were detected least of all. Summarize and conclude, Coliphages and fecal indicator bacteria are widely and consistently present in wastewaters and ambient surface waters. They are also um, often similar in many treated wastewaters and, uh, and, uh, and, and surface waters. And that the ability of coliphages to predict the presence and concentrations of human and enteric viruses is possible, but it's uh, variable and uncertain. And therefore we need more work. Um, to get more data uh, on, on these uh, viruses and their, uh, and their presence. Pathogen gene copies do not reliably predict infectious virus presence and concentrations in wastewaters and waters, and the ratios vary, and therefore greater efforts are needed to detect and quantify infectious virus pathogens in wastewaters and ambient waters. What we can say, however, is that overall coliphages reasonably predict recreational water gastrointestinal illness risks, especially when impacted by, by human wastes, and that overall greater efforts are needed to develop coliphage criteria and action levels based on their presence or concentrations in recreational waters 
that are predictive of human health risks. And really this is the need going forward in order for um, EPA and other agencies to develop uh, national criteria to address the risks of, uh, of pathogen presence using perhaps coliphages as uh, fecal indicator viruses. That concludes my presentation.